Hey Fashion Minions! I'm doing a Get Ready With Me video for you today. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, I have my foundation on and I started with a primer. I've been trying out the new um, baby skin from Maybelline. Um, it's just a clear silicone type product. Um, it comes out clear, so it's a little squeezy tube. I was going to show you, but that's okay. Why waste it? <laughs> so that is what I started with. Um, I used um, a stick concealer on my blemishes. This is the Ulta Fabulous Face Concealer in Light. It's just a stick concealer. Just um, light coverage. And then I used my MAC concealer kind of on my problem areas like all over my face, mostly in my T-zone area. So under my eyes as concealer, I used my CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless um, in the color 205. Very light. And I also used my CoverGirl 3-in-1 in buff beige with my beauty blender that is really dirty. So that's what I started off with. So I'm going to put my hair back. Sloppily get it out of my face. Um, so I'm going to try to insert this in the video somewhere, but if I can't, this is the picture that I'm going off of. And it's just kind of a winter look. I want to concentrate on the contour and the nude lip in this. Um, everything else is kind of, well, even the eyes are a little bit dramatic, so. But that's what I'm going off of. We can start by priming the eye with, um, I have the Laura Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Now I am up and close in this video. <laughs> so, I'm just going to use this as my mirror, because it Cheers. Look at that mirror. Okay. Um, I'm also going to use a base. This is the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. Um, and the color is Sand Castles. It's a really pretty taupe silvery color. I just think it'll look good with the uh, kind of dramatic eye that we're going for. So trying to get as close as possible so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting that all over the lid. Kind of as a base. Let's see if I can switch sides. So it's hard to tell what is on her lid because all I can see is kind of the crease color in, in a way. So it seems like it's really one color on her lid, but um, just to blend things out a little bit, um, I'm going to use my Coastal Scents in the BRCNO2. That is a long word for this little shader brush. So it's off of my Sephora color anthology. Got this as a Christmas present. And it's on the second flap and it's going to be this color. Three rows down, the second one in. <laughs> um, and we're just going to put that all over the lid. Again, let me get up a close and personal. Getting the right angle for y'all. It's not easy. Alright. I don't know if you can see the color. It's really shimmery. It's really pretty. That is the shade that we're going to use on the lid. Now, for the crease, I have my Naked Basics palette. I'm going to use my Naked Brush on the double-ended one. We're going to use the fluffy side as my crease. 
and we're going to use faint, which is the second darkest color. Now, wish me luck, y'all. Wish me luck. Because <laughs> she's got it winged out. So, I'm going to kind of outline where I'm going with this color. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to try to use the camera and let's see if it works. Fill the brush. Take a piece of paper. Line up the line that we want. And blend. Okay. The base. Starting. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Blend the slide. Now, my eyeballs look crazy. So, taking a kind of clean brush, blend this in to the crease. It's all about blending, girls. Here. Blend, blend, blend. All right. Well, not quite turning out the way I wanted it. They love you. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna try a little trick here because this is just. We're gonna take my powder, which is obviously my skin tone. Lighten this up a little. Because it's just looking crazy. Alright. I think I just went up too high. Alright, well. Not as easy as it looks. Take a blending color and take that out of the top. Kind of like peeking over my. Alright. Well, I tried. I can't say I didn't try. I'm trying to think. Alright. One more try. We're not going to go so far out because I feel like my eyes are just, just not working with this. So, we're going to take the same brush. This is MAC Tempting. It's kind of a bronzy, shimmery color. I'm going to take some, dust it off on my hand, even though nothing came off. That's kind of scary. Going to try this again, lining up the eye with the nose. I'm just going to take the smallest edge right here, not going very far out. Again, that's too far. Let's see. It's just really hard to get that precision that I'm looking for. But you know what? That's not bad. I kind of like that. There we go. Okay. I'm totally professional. Can't you tell? Alright, we're going to try this again. Again, dusting it off. Lining the nose with the corner of the eye. And we're just going to concentrate it right there. Don't go too far, just concentrate it right there. And then we're going to blend it into the crease like such. And that's, that's it. I'm going to clean off my brush and blend it. Clean it off and blend. Alright. So that's the basic eyeshadow part. Um, let's, let's see our progress. I feel like we got the basic eyeshadow, if you can tell, 
the basic eyeshadow look that they were kind of going for. Just kind of straight out there in a cat eye kind of way. Yeah, we're going to start with a Fabu liner. Not start with, but, you know, as far as lining goes. Um, get my mirror. Okay. See if I can get them personal in this camera jiggy. Alright, can you see if I go like this? Yeah? Okay. For some reason, when I get up close, I turn yellow. Back it up. White. Yellow. Almost. Okay. I'm just gonna line the line. Now, problem is, I need to do a thick, dramatic line, right? No? I don't know. Let's keep trying this out here. Can you see what I'm doing? Oops. Alright. That line's thicker than the other one. Let's see if I can fix it. Alright, so that's what I can do without throwing it up. Um, does she have a wing liner? I don't think she does. Nope, this is thick, really thick. Let me thicken it up on the end. Or, take that shadow, thicken it up. There we go. For some reason, this is really, really thick in the picture. I'm going to take my, what's it called, Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner from L'Oreal in black. It's got a smudger on one side. Now it's about to get scary, okay? Don't get scared. I'm gonna line the water lines. This is where the look really starts to take the look. If you know what mouse I am. She has got so much eyeliner on, let me tell you. My eyes, like, turn instantly red. I'm going to put this on my eyeballs somehow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right on top. And on top here. Okay. Okay, so when you're done with the eyeliner, Heaven help us. <laughs> we're gonna take the um sorry. We're gonna take Venus, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Venus. We're gonna highlight under the brow. It's a nice shimmery champagne color. Gorgeous for highlight. Put it in the tear duct area. Like such. I'm going to set my foundation because I haven't done that yet. So I'm taking um, my Clinique Stay Matte or Stay Neutral Stay Matte Sheer Press Power Oil Free and Stay Neutral is the color and a giant brush thingy. Just setting my makeup. 
don't get any shine, which you get oily during the day. Okay, so this does have the order, I do think. So then we're going to take, um, this is a Too Faced Chocolate Soule Matte Bronzing Powder. It's just a um, matte bronzer. And this is my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Um, I feel like I get a really precise application with this brush. So if you notice in the picture, she um, is rocking that, come on now. As you can see, she has a strong contour line um, in her cheekbones. So, a little contouring. We're going to take my brush, my contour, and we're going to start at the jawline and just bring that down. It's very strong, so we're just going to concentrate it. Take it some more and concentrate it. That looks good. And then we're going to concentrate on this side, bringing it down the line. You can see the hollows of your cheekbones as you do this. So she's a very strong contour, contour line, contouring line. Make sure it's even on both sides. That is the trick. So then we're going to take it onto our temples, down our jawline. Temples jawline. Okay. So, so she has a little bit of contouring on the nose. So we're going to go down the nose just to uh, have a little contour line. So that's that. Um, she also has really like emphasized highlighting going on. I don't know if it's just like the flash of the camera or what have you, but we're going to use my Smashbox Soft Lights in Shimmer. It's a really pink, um, high, pretty pink highlighter. And we're going to go onto the tops of the cheeks here. Just a little bit on the temples. You can already see that shine. And I'm using my Ulta sculpt, Sculpted Brush. So, up high on those cheeks, we're going to take this highlight. And we're going to go down the nose here. So she's, she's quite highlighted. So we're just going to emphasize those areas. Okay, I don't know. It's, I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but if you can't tell, it's very... Highlighter. <laughs> so, that's that. But, um, she doesn't look like she's wearing blush in the picture, um, but just to give that glow that seems to be going on in this picture, um, I recommend Dandelion, the Benefit um, Blush. Just kind of a really, 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 really soft pink, and it's it just the smallest amount of color for the cheeks and I find that a good dupe for this one. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. Just kind of the lightest pink. Like you can't really see it. Um, I find that a good dupe um, if you don't want to spend the money on such a light blush. The NYX um, Dusty Rose is really, really close. So watch that for you. The dandelion is on this one and dusty rose is on the other one. You can see the swatch right here. It's a little bit darker, but it does the job. So I'm going to actually take the brush that we used for the highlighter because I forgot my blush brush and just use that. So it's got a little bit of highlighter left on it, but that's okay. We don't need a lot of blush, just a little bit. And this blush uh, brush is very heavy duty, like it's concentrated, so it's probably a little bit too much. So we can buff that up. No worries. Okay. So that's that. And her eyebrows are really soft. Um, they're not really bold. So um, I'll just take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and clean up my eyebrows a little bit. Sorry, they're kind of needing a tweeze. 
But I'm not going to fill them in very much. I'm just going to, you know, give them a little bit of color. I'm just lightly, lightly putting that on. Very lightly. I mean, you don't want a bold eyebrow for this look. It's not about the eyebrows. Set it with a clear mascara. And like I said, I do all this in an order. Because this stuff takes forever to dry. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Alright, so then we can pop on the mascara. I definitely recommend Falsies um, for this particular look. Because her eyelashes are like ba boom. But um, I'm going to use They're Real from Benefit. They are real. This is a really good mascara to make them eyelashes pop. So let's go ahead and. I mean, one tiny coat, and you can already see a difference in my eyelashes. Like that eye compared to that eye. This mascara is the bomb. Now, I see it's kind of funny, but I hate mascara on my bottom lashes. It's just, like, really, it looks bad on me, I feel like. So go ahead and put mascara on your bottom lashes like a normal person, um, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to, like I said, this look is, like, all eyelashes. So go ahead and put, like, three coats of mascara. Add them fake eyelashes. Do your bottom lashes. Go all out with the lashes. You have my permission. <laughs> so... Um, and the last little touch for this look, um, which I'm actually in love with this color, it's from Benefit. I feel like I have a lot of Benefit, but that's okay. Um, it's from Benefit, and it's called Fame Game. Let me show you what it looks like. It's the nudist nude I own. Well, no, I take that back. It is, it's a nude. I'll just say that. I am running out of places to swatch, so I'm just going to do it along the bottom. It's a really pretty pinky nude, because I can't wear yellow nudes. That's the color. Um, so, let me just pop this on for you. Ooh, my lips are chapped. <laughs> So, the reason I really, like, I'm not a nude person. I don't like nude lips on myself at all. But this one has the prettiest, like, shimmer to it. It looks super nice on the lips. My camera's not picking it up at all. I promise it's really pretty on. Um, but, yeah, I found my new favorite nude lipstick, if that makes any sense. So... Of course, our hair is like sleek back, but we're not gonna go there. Because Melanie don't look good in a sleek back hair look. Sometimes. Most of the time. So, that is my look. Um, of course, I don't have blue eyes, so, you know. And I, don't, I didn't get quite as carried away with the eyelashes as I could have, which will definitely make this look. But uh, that's my inspired look look for you today. Um, and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!